Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I am excited to announce the release of Sidebar Navigation Builder for Breakdance. A couple of weeks back, I released uh, this same Navigation Builder for Oxygen and Bricks, and today Breakdance version is ready. So I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate how this works and show you how to set this up. So this is the Sidebar Navigation. It allows you to build a multi-level Sidebar Navigation without any headaches. It has a drop down. It has a slide button that's for slide navigation. And of course you can do multi levels of slide navigation. For example, let me just pull this up. You can see we have reviews here. We have Marvel and you can have multiple level. Like you have this level, this level. I always advise that you should not have more than two levels. For example, the first and second level, uh, because it makes it just makes it easier to navigate. But, this navigation does not in any way limit you to how much levels you can have. Now, another feature that this sidebar navigation has is the automatic menu position with the current menu item. For example, we are on the sample page now. And if I refresh this page, it's going to automatically slide to where the link to the sample page is. You can see that that was inside a drop down and it automatically opens that drop down. So that is a good feature. So I'm going to refresh that again. You see it slides and opens so you, you know where you are currently at uh, while you are browsing the menu. I also want to point out that this menu is keyboard accessible so you can tap with it with the keyboard. Uh, everything is keyboard accessible. It's uh, really good and it's quite easy to set up and it's also very mobile responsive. So if I come here, I can go there, come back here, drop down, slide in. You can see that drop down closing. As I was about to slide in so uh, everything is just cool and you can just uh, hit there and even at the mobile for those who use assistive technology for on-screen navigation you can see that it's keyboard accessible uh, the focus is still very much within the menu as it is navigating okay so I'm just gonna show you how to set this up uh, in breakdance so I have a breakdance installation this is a clean installation the only thing I've done is that I've set up two pages one is the sample page and the other one is the home page so what you're gonna do if you want to set this up is to go to template no go to a header rather uh, under breakdance because we want to create a header this is a sidebar navigation that means it is a header template so we're gonna come here I'm just gonna call it my sidebar header and then I want to apply this to everywhere on the website and I'm gonna click add header and then I'm gonna go ahead and edit with breakdance uh, so once you purchase this sidebar navigation, uh, you will have this in your dashboard. Alternatively, if you purchase the all access membership, which is currently on 40% discount for a limited time, you have access to all others. But now this is for breakdance. And then I'm going to download. Now you're going to see demo and template. Now demo simply means that it's going to look like what you are seeing on the demo. Okay, but if you download the the template, the template just gives you the bay bone design, which is something like this. So this is how it comes with no styling at all, black and white. Yeah, minimal styling, I would say. I'm going to show you how to bring this in and then I'm going to also show you how you can customize it to suit your theme or your design theme. So I'm going to go ahead and download the template. Okay, so you click download when it downloads. Uh, what you need to do is just to drag that uh, JSON file onto the browser and it's going to open up just Ctrl C and copy everything and then come to breakdance and just paste. That is all you need to do as you paste it, everything comes in. Now let's go to the front end of this website and look at it. This is how the front end looks. Uh, I got this design from breakdance design library. So I'm going to just um, save this. Once I save this, I am going to refresh this and automatically you're going to see that the sidebar navigation is applied to the website so right now what we have to do is uh, to customize this to fit what we're going to do is to customize this so I'm going to go into breakdance uh, so when you let me collapse everything here so when you install this or when you paste this you're going to have this and when you open it you have the header inner wrap which is this and then you have the nav which is the panels and the nav has two panels the home panel is a special panel the home panel will always be there there are cases where you don't want to have any slide panels you just want it to be a static or a single sidebar with nothing sliding and you that, that is what you're always going to use which is the home panel but the slide panel which is this one is uh 
what you're going to be using for any panel you want to slide to. So right now you have one home panel and one slide panel. So if you need to add another slide panel, you can always duplicate one of these. How this works is that in each of the panels, you have three types of buttons. You have the regular link and you have a slide button and you have a drop down depending on which one you want to use. The slide button is responsible to linking to another slide. You can see here that this is a label saying to slide one panel and this is slide one. Okay. And you have a back button on the next slide which says back to previous panel and this is a home button that slides back to the home panel. You also have the drop downs where you can duplicate and add as many drop downs as you want. So right now, uh, by default, we have the slide button leading to the slide one. Let's say uh, we want to uh, create another button that leads to, let's say, slide two. So I'm going to just uh, come here. And what you want to do is that you want to make sure that you're on the LI, not the button itself, but the LI. So you want to duplicate that LI. And then I have another one there. Uh, that's another LI. So right now, uh, this is slide button. I'm just going to rename this to slide button two. Okay, so that's the second slide button. And the way this does is for you to link a specific button to a specific slide, you need to go to the button inside that navigation, inside that slide button, and then give it the attribute or the title attribute that is the same title attribute of the panel you want to link to. So for instance, the first, this slide button leads to slide one. And if we go to slide one and go here, advanced, you can see that it has an attribute called slide one. Okay, the name, the value of that attribute, title attribute is slide one. You don't even need to go to the advanced, you can just click modified and you will see that attribute title slide one. And if you go to that button that leads to slide one and you open that button and select the main button inside the LI item, click modify, you're gonna see that it has a bunch of attributes, but the one you're interested in is in the title attribute. So right now we want to link slide two to another panel we're going to create so i'm going to select you can select the slide uh, the, the slide panel by clicking on the name so i'm going to duplicate that and we have another panel so i'm just going to rename this to slide two panel just for clarity and i'm going to go to the modified and change the uh, the title values to slide two i'm going to copy that because i want to apply that same title value to the button that is responsible for sliding in, which is this. So you want to make sure that you are on now on the slide button, not on the LI. So you go to the slide button, click on modify. Under that, you just paste in that uh, attribute uh, value. So right now we have slide one and see, you can see that the name changes to slide two here because we have, we have changed um, that uh, attribute, the title attribute to slide two. And you can see that this now says to slide two panel. So it's easy to look at a button by this label and know where it links to because this links to slide two right now. To make it different, I'm just gonna rename this as slide two panel so we can recognize it on the front end uh, when we're running our test. And so I'm gonna save this and then we're gonna go to the front end. As you can see right now, it has just slide button. So if I refresh this, you're gonna see I have a slide button and slide button two. So the slide button leads to slide one panel. If I go back, slide button two leads to slide two panel you can see uh, so you can add as many slides if you want to uh, add a, a slide from inside here you can add uh you can just do it like this so if i copy this li if you want to move copy it okay make sure this is the li yeah, i can copy this li let's say i wanted to i wanted this button to be in in the slide one okay which leads to slide two so i can just copy it let's right click and copy and then delete it from there then i can come to slide two and then in, under the list where you have list okay you want to paste it inside the list so i'm going to paste it there so we have uh the li button which is the slide button two and that leads to slide two panel so I'm, that's all you need to do you just don't need to do any other thing i'm going to save that and then i'm going to refresh uh, once I refresh that, you can see that we have that slide button and then in here we have slide two, which leads to slide two. I want you to notice something that once we enter slide two, it tells us back to slide one. It automatically knows the name of this panel, even though you did not explicit, explicitly set it here. All that is automatic. So you have back to home. 
okay so i do that again come here so this is back to slide one now um if you are using the first level you really don't need the home uh home okay the reason for the home is if you're going deep down into the slides you can always jump back to home instead of going this this okay so you can just go and jump back to home straight but the first uh first level really doesn't need a home button because it's just one step away so if you don't need that home button you can always delete it from the first level which is this slide one so i'm just going to take that home button away from there because it's not necessary and then i'm going to save it and i will go ahead and refresh and then if we slide the first time you're not going to see that home button because this leads straight to home but if we slide the second level you can now see the home button one other feature i want to quickly demonstrate now is i have a, a drop down here i wrote current menu item here and this should lead to i want it to lead to uh let's link it that to sample page that i have so i'm going to just choose my sample page so i just want it to be an absolute um relative path i'm going to just just say sample page remove that forward slash okay i'm going to save it then i'm going to refresh this and i will slide down to where you have that drop down and that leads to the sample page if i click to go to that sample page you can see that it automatically uh uh, scroll into where the slide panel where you have that link and opens it and you can see that the current menu item is being styled all right so that is another feature it has what you call automatic menu position as i said earlier okay uh, so for that to work you have to have your url in these formats okay so right now how can we style this i'm going to go back how can we style this to match with our uh, theme so what i'm going to do is to style this let's expand collapse everything Okay, and then you go to the code block and inside the CSS, you open it. And what we're gonna do is this. Uh, first, I wanna get my theme colors, okay? So I'm gonna go to the global styles. So you see this, so what, we, what I need here is, I think I need the base. Uh, so I'm just gonna store it somewhere. That's my base color and I have my action color. I'm just gonna store it there, that's my action. I want to I want to quickly reference it okay and maybe the gray let me just take the gray probably I will need it okay so those are my three colors I'm going to just open this and and here you have the the CSS variables don't allow this to scare you it's quite simple you can see width and spacing uh, vertical hover. most of these settings you may not need to change it but I'm just going to focus on the background color so the nav background right now is white but i don't want it to be white i want it to be my uh, base color so i'm just going to double click and paste that and see it changes it to base color and the next thing i want to change that quickly looks staring at me in the face is my link color so i'm just going to go to colors uh first of all the title panel color i want it to be white okay so that shows up white panel icon colors I want it to be that action color so i'm just going to copy that action color see it's giving me that but the social icon also need their color so the social icon color and i'm gonna just call it that see it changes now what i want is my link colors so my panel link colors i want it to be white but not entirely white so i'm gonna use that gray so let me just put it there you can see and also the social color which is the social links so now for the hover when i hover on the link i want it to be white when i hover on when i hover i want the icon to also be white then for the social i also want the hover text color to be white and then the icon color i want to retain the icon color in this case maybe everything should just be white like that then the drop down links hover color i want it to be white also uh the drop down link color i also want it to be that gray so that gray drop down links color okay all right so i've done that uh let's see okay so the header okay you need to do something about the header the background color header background it's going to be the same as the nav background so i'm just going to copy that and paste here i'm going to save that and let's go to the front end and see how it looks i'm going to go ahead and refresh this and you can see that we're already having 
the look that we want okay everything looks okay right now okay so this uh button here is uh, a regular button uh it's just a regular button which you could just tile it up with breakdown so i use a custom button and i can just uh, take that color from here it should help us now one other thing we want to do is uh, in our sample, you can see the lines here and then there's a line here, okay? Also, there's a line that divides this. So what you, how you can do that to put that line is this. So you go back to, um, you know, go back to the code block, open this, and then you're going to go all the way down here. You're going to see uh, borders. Now, the horizontal line refers to this horizontal line here that divides the header footer from the main panel. So we're going to go down there. And I want that line to be white but transparent. So zero 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 there is black. White will be two five five, two five five. I mean you could change it to any color you want, but I'm using RGB color here, two five five. And you can see it's already showing up. And the link, the link on the line refers to the link. These are uh, lines under the link. So if you don't want it, uh, you could always go there and put transparent. But what I did was I I set it to inherit the horizon be the same color as the horizontal line. So it is having the same color. If you don't want it, you could just write here, just write the word transparent here, and you wouldn't have the color. But I don't want it to be transparent. I want it to have the same color as this. Now uh the next thing is to have this horizontal line here. The way that is done is we currently what we have is a sidebar shadow. Uh, by default that comes with a set of shadow instruction i'm going to just delete the first one like that and delete that comma and what i want to do is i want this to also be white actually let me just copy this rgb value and put it here so now i have that uh if i save it if i save that and we take a look at it uh we're gonna have a slide you can see that slight line showing at, at the edge but to make that line more prominent we want to shift that um that shadow just outside a bit and that shadow so i want to shift it the first value represent the x axis the second is the y so we're going to shift the x axis like one pixel just move it you know out that is how the box shadows work and and um if you do that you can see that it's going to show up a, a little bit more it's much more prom prominent so that is how to customize. You can see it didn't take any time to customize and change things, uh, you know, the way you want. And everything works perfectly. If you go to the mobile breakpoint, you can see that this works perfect. You could also change the uh, this overlay color. If you don't want it to be white, you can go back there. Now you scroll all the way down here under overlay. Let's say we want the overlay to be black. So you don't want it to be white anymore. So we can just do that and change it let's refresh that and you can see that it's now black so everything you need to style is here so you look at it the width and spacing uh the sidebar width is 300 uh, pixel if you want to reduce it you can take it to maybe 250 pixels and it's reduced to 250 pixels if i save that and i refresh this and you can see that it's going to reduce in width so you just maybe you need a bit more room estate i also want to mention you can drop anything inside the sidebar navigation like here i have so many things in here i have even a gallery inside here you can drop anything anything can be dropped inside the navigation here i have a, an image inside a link uh that image is let me show you how it is so you come here that image is actually inside the li not inside the link wrapper so you go to the li you can drop anything you want to drop in there i have an image there that shows up so that is all there is in setting up the sidebar navigation apart from changing your logo or adding any other thing so this navigation builder is available for purchase there is an option to get an all membership access where it's going to give you access to this navigation builder and any other template and component that i will release in the future it is a subscription membership as at the time of this recording, that is on a 40% discount for a limited time. So take advantage of that. So I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback on this component and let me know what you think. And don't forget to also rate it once you buy it. Until next time, happy building. Bye.